Well, what do you know? It's a bright and sunny day here on Boom Beach, although it does rain sometimes. One of the unique selling points of the game, I reckon, that the weather does change. But let's go ahead and take on Dr. Tara on the 10th of August, which means, means that it's the Tropical Island base that we're taking on. I've got, I think from memory, 45 warriors. I've been upgrading my landing craft a lot lately. But let's go ahead. We don't have any statues boosted today, so everything is pretty much vanilla, plain Jane. Let's go ahead and search out Dr. Terry if we can find him. I always seem to uh, forget where the tropical island is. It's to the left. Uh, well, it's northwest. So let's go ahead and, well, I guess we can scout it out. Why not? If we're feeling like that today. We do have a cannon which we do need to watch out for. Those point defenses can cause havoc on you losing a couple of warriors just way too early. Uh, but other than that, it seems like it'll be pretty easy. So what I would probably recommend is just sending in a barrage over to like the left of that sniper tower so we can get both of those um, supplies. Oh, we even got three of those supplies. Fantastic. That worked out better than I expected. But we also got those, uh, well, that one boom mine over there. So that should help a lot of you guys out. Although most of you probably will still have that sniper tower up. My barrage is, I think, level 13. So that's actually pretty high, I think. There's about two more levels that I've got. What we can do is just let our guys go ahead and do their own thing. I might as well just get rid of that cannon, though. I only took one artillery shot as well. And we'll let our warriors do the rest. I'll even just do a celebratory heal. Even though it does get there in the end. Alright, so... We're not going to be getting as many resources today because we don't have our resource reward statue boosted, which is quite rare for me. But I need to go ahead and get most of my landing craft up to level 15. Alright, so let's check out this machine gun. It will be able to attack our warriors on the left hand side of the headquarters. Jeez, that headquarters got a lot of health as well. Um, I probably need to get rid of that sniper tower. It's got a lot of health though. Um, but I think most importantly is to get rid of both of those boom mines. So we're going to drop our guys to the right hand side, try to get the supplies there and we'll see how everything goes. So what I'm going to do is send in a barrage which will hopefully get those supplies as well and what do you know it even gets the machine gun which is fantastic. Just drop a artillery on that boom mine right. and send in all our guys to the very right hand side. Oh damn it. They're splitting off. Which probably isn't actually all that bad of a thing. Um, what I'll have to do, you know, is... I'll shock that sniper tower just so it stops attacking our warriors. So that way we don't lose anyone. Destroy everything. Wow, they actually ran around that mine. That poor mine. It had one job and it failed. Alright, <laughs> some good stuff. That's terror stage 2 down. We're not going for any world records here. I think the whole Dr. Tara world record thing is uh, pretty ridiculous because there's no standard for the world record every week or every time Dr. Tara comes around. It's always different. So it can't really be a proper world record if um, the time or if the uh, it's not standardized. Anyways, let's go have a head and look at what's happening over here. 150,000 health on the headquarters. So it's... Pretty much got 10,000 more than last level, which isn't really all that much. Um, we don't really have any point defenses here. I mean, not even these machine guns or flamethrowers are able to reach. Alright. Cool. So what I'll do is I'll drop my guys over to the right-hand side. I'll try to stay away from these mines as best I can. I'll probably drop a heal or two, but let's go attack. Alright, so all on the right-hand side. Should work a treat. I'll get a flare ready because I've got no doubt I'll have to be flaring my guys over. Damn it. And they're splitting off, which we don't want to happen. I'll just smoke our guys. And I'll drop a heal as soon as the smoke starts to wear off, which is in quite a while because my smoke's fairly leveled up. Alright. Heal and then drop a random shock and I think we yeah we definitely got this in the bag didn't really need to drop anything else we still got 58 gun bed energy so you pretty much just need to have enough shocks just to shock anything that can affect you and that mission is or terror stage is pretty easy as well all right so what are we up to terror stage four I think it is 
indeed it is all right so i think we're going to go up the right hand side again today um or in this time i don't think i'm really going to get rid of these mines at all to be honest i'm just going to have to shock away over here i uh, don't have enough strength to take on that bunker which is a shame because these two supply buildings are right next to each other easy gunboat energy right there and i do need to watch out for this boom cannon so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just flare these guys to the crystal solution and then we'll go i think pretty much straight to the headquarters i'll probably flare like to the right of it and then onto the headquarters so let's go have a look at how this will work oh actually i just um forgot about that shock launcher which is all right uh, because we're smoking our way to the headquarters anyway so i'm going to double smoke the beach and then flare onto that crystal solution and then we smoke not onto the headquarters but close enough to it and then we flare onto the headquarters once they get near so that way we miss all those mines beautifully done like so we'll get some um, two shocks ready beautiful there's just one boom cannon that's able to get us which is all right i'll send an artillery in all right everything's going to be able to attack us any second now we've got let's see about three hits which we were vulnerable in thankfully that shock launcher didn't get to us in the end but it's all good all right so we lost six guys there which means that we're going to have to do a quick edit get my six warriors and dr stay dr terror stage five is up next all right so terror stage five seems like it is another easy one although we do need to watch out for the shock launchers i think we'll get around the mines unscathed so what we're going to do is flare to the shock launcher then flare to the bunker flare around the headquarters and then finally onto the headquarters so let's go give that tactic a shot there's also two suppliers right next to each other so of course we are going to be dropping one artillery shell on them just to get a net gain of gunboat energy there we go i'm gonna double smoke the beach probably could have been a bit of a better smoke um out wide but it's all right not the end of the world so we smoke and flare onto that bunker then i'm going to flare them right next to the headquarters although not exactly the headquarters and around they go we haven't lost a single guy get one shock ready and we're just gonna shock everything underneath the headquarters like so fantastic i can even throw a heal down and what are we at we're about halfway and here come everything else attacking us i do get a shock launcher attack off at us but really it didn't cause too much damage to us and our losses among the landing craft have all been pretty even which is always very nice as well means that it won't take long for us to get to the next attack we only lost eight guys there can't complain about that so we'll be back with terror stage six now of course it wouldn't be one of my videos without a very impromptu statue boosting i've boosted four of my statues but everything will be down below as to what level they are after they've been boosted let's go ahead and take on Terra stage six so i've worked out a strategy what we're going to do i'm going to go ahead and clear pretty much all these mines out and three of these supplies it'll leave me with a negative one gunboat energy um surplus or negative um and then we've got uh two boom mines which we are going to get rid with an artillery shell or two so let's go try this tactic out i'm going to aim on the mine on the right which will hopefully take out both supplies and there we go <laughs> the boom mine now i'm going to go ahead and get an artillery and i'm going to aim the artillery so it also damages the headquarters the headquarters has got 280,000 health or so so that's quite a bit but an artillery shot or two definitely speeds things up a little bit so what i'm going to do is drop two smokes and then drop all these warriors down and I'm going to flare them onto that crystal supply. Oh, I can't remember what it was actually officially called. Then we're going to smoke our way to the headquarters and flare them there. Fantastic. We make it out pretty much unscathed. We lost one guy. 
All right, and then we, we've got uh, enough Gumba energy for two shocks and two heals. So these guys should get to work pretty easily. Go ahead and shock again. And we got that in the bag without too many losses. I wasn't actually able to do this without boosting my statues. I kept on losing it by quite a bit. So thankfully those statues, after they've been boosted, the three attacking ones definitely helped me out a lot. So we're guaranteed to get that crystal. And we also get two dark fragments as well, although we did lose um, 30 guys. That's quite a bit. So we'll be back with a Terra Stage 7 in about, well, due to the power of editing right away. But it takes about 18 minutes or so for me to get my army back. Alright, and on to the final stage, Terra Stage 7. And I've got a mighty good feeling about this being my first time of my Boom Beach career being able to take down Terra Stage 7. We've got the headquarters. It's booted up quite a bit. We're going to go straight up the guts, although I'm going to have to get rid of all these Boom Mines. Gonna have to make sure that my barrages work perfectly, uh, but it should be pretty smooth sailing. I've also gone ahead and boosted my gunboat energy as well because I am crazy like that. But what I'm gonna do is aim the barrage pretty much right in the center of all these mines, and that should get rid of all of them, hopefully. Oh no, it didn't. All right. Um. Well, I guess what I will do is, you know what? Sometimes it's just better to retreat because I need this to work out perfectly for me. So I'm going to keep this in life and show you just how sometimes you can easily screw up. So what I'm going to do this time is aim a little bit lower and that should work a charm. Here we go. That worked out perfectly for us. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted. Cleared all those middle mines out. So now what I'm going to do is double smoke the beach like so. Drop all my guys out there. Smoke once again, and I'm going to flare onto the last flamethrower. Like so. Everyone made it out unscathed. Fantastic. And then we go smoke to the headquarters and also flare him there. So that gives us 43 gunboat energy to muck around with, with pretty much all our guys at full health. So now what I'm going to do is get ready with two of my shocks. Right now. Beautiful. Heal them up once. Get another shock ready. I'll aim it towards the left-hand side yet again. Like so. And wow. We've cleared this out super easy. Wow, I'm very impressed at how quickly my warriors managed to do that. I mean, of course, we lost a lot of guys, but at least it wasn't everyone. So that means we win. Our very first victory against Dr. Terra. After many a try, we've managed to get there. All right, well... That is very, very fun. We only lost 33 warriors there as well, so that means there's 12 around. You beat me this time, but I'll be back. Indeed, you will be, Dr. Terror. You'll be back tomorrow on the Volcano Island. The forecast for this week is fire and steel. You did it, Commander, but evil genius doesn't look so smart now. No, he doesn't. Only at headquarters level 17 as well, so I'm impressed with that. I'm going to go ahead and... Get all my worries and i'm going to make use of the boost that we've got but until next time though guys hopefully you've enjoyed a final episode with uh, dr terror managed to be beaten if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't but i'll see you again for tomorrow's episode